today you can put everything away except for your pencils, sharpener, and eraser because I'm going to teach you six basic shading techniques and I'm also going to talk a little bit about how to draw cast shadows at the end. Just a little review, age range pencils are lighter and harder while B range pencils are darker and easier to smudge but also harder to erase. So for all these techniques you want to take a lighter pencil in the H range and apply less pressure in the beginning and slowly build on it. Start by deciding where you want your specular highlight. So let's keep it simple and put it here for all the spheres. Begin to draw light evenly spaced lines going in one direction everywhere except where your highlight will be. You want to make sure that all the lines are going across the whole shape instead of doing something like this because it creates a an uneven gradient which isn't realistic and it's distracting when you see these darker areas uh, where the line starts and lighter areas. Another thing to note is if you start the line at the darker part and end at the lighter part, it will help you as well to achieve that gradient because where the pencil tapers off, that part will be thinner and lighter. Continue drawing some more lines. The closer the lines are to each other, the darker it will seem. Now you can probably switch to your mid-tone pencil. I have a 3B here. Something like a HB or a 2B, 3B is fine. And go in and put in those medium grays. Take an eraser and erase that circle we made in the beginning. And if you feel like an area is too dark and you want to lighten it, you can take a clean eraser and dab at it. Erase just enough to lighten it. And if your sphere is on a table, sometimes the light from the table or reflect back onto the sphere. So this edge will be lighter. I also forgot to mention that it helps to not have a super sharp pencil when you're shading. So that's why I have a manual sharpener here so I can control how sharp the pencil is. If you did this right, when you look up close, you see lots of hatches and little lines. But when you zoom out, You can see that the shadow reads as a gradient or one solid shadow. If it looks like a barcode, then you did something wrong. Cross hatching is pretty similar to hatching, except you're drawing lines in the opposite direction as well. I think when it's really perpendicular, it tends to read as a mesh instead of shading. Go back in with your eraser again and lighten up the highlights. You should check out Leonardo da Vinci's sketchbook. He does a really great job of using hatching for shading and still achieving this kind of softness. Contour hatching is when you follow the curve of your shape. So you're shading in the same direction as your shape. This one's kind of tricky to get a smooth gradient. 
I wouldn't recommend it unless this is the style that you're going for. It kind of has a sort of Tim Burton style. Next is smudging. This one's pretty straightforward. I would actually start right away with your B pencil and I would hold my pencil on an angle and very gently apply pressure. And you want to try to make the gradient smooth and not fully rely on the smudging to smooth it out. Stippling, not stripling like some artists call it. Stripling has a very different meaning according to Urban Dictionary. I would just go ahead and take a B range pencil that's not super sharp. And you're basically using dots to shade. And the closer the dots are to, to each other, the darker it will seem. Lastly, let's look at scumbling, or sometimes it's called scribbling. This is when you shade using random circular motions. This kind of shading gives you more texture. If you do this right, it shouldn't look like pubic hair. It should look more like soft wool. Now that all our shading techniques are done. I want to talk a little bit about drawing shadows. Let's say you have a column and it's outdoors. Sun rays tend to be more parallel versus a light bulb where the light is radial. So knowing that the sun's rays are parallel, let's say we wanted the sun up here. We can literally draw a line straight from the corners. And you want these lines to be parallel to each other. And this line here will be parallel to this line. And this line here will be parallel to that line. And then you can connect this corner to that corner. And this one to this corner. Then we can erase the guidelines. Now we can take one of our B pencils and shade that in really smoothly. And if you notice shadows, when the sun is higher up, the shadows tend to be darker and the edges of the shadow are less blurry. If you notice that the further you are from the object, the more blurry the shadow gets. Now let's say the sun is lower and maybe a little less direct. be more blurry on the edges and it'll also be lighter than that shadow. And as you get further away from the column, it gets lighter. Let's say this is a parallel universe and we actually have two suns. If that were the case, this triangle here where the two shadows overlap would be the darkest part. That's all folks.
folks, I hope you learned something today. I would love to keep these tutorials free and ad-free, so please help me out by donating on ko-fi.com slash biomimi underscore art. Remember to hit like, subscribe, comment, and the notification bell, and I will see you next time. Stay safe and make art.